YouTube once again. <clears throat> so today is day five and I just got home from like an hour long ride and I'm like extremely tired because uh, it's just freaking long as hell man. And it was packed actually this time. So it's pretty crazy. I've never, it's never been this packed, but I think they have like a new route because like during the weekends they change, I guess, the routes. So it's pretty packed. Um, I like my makeup. Anyways, so today I went to Karma Loop and I pretty much walked in and no one was there so I was like okay so like during Fridays I guess nobody really goes in so it's just a few people there um and I pretty much started working on the catalog because um my supervisor told me that that was what I was going to do so I started doing this catalog and I started thinking like I don't know like I don't know like I have a way of design it's like I need to know who I'm designing for, I need to know like the target market, like all those facts because I mean that's what my marketing degree has taught me, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much all those things start running through my head so I'm like you know what I can't design like right now I need to research more about this stuff so I pretty much go back onto their website and just look at what they have and get to know the company a little bit more because I mean I know a little bit about them but I just felt like I wasn't completely aware so um, I looked at their website but then they're they're just like they just started out so it's like not not fully established you know what I'm saying so it's like they don't have too much to go by I guess you could say I mean they have like three four years worth of stuff but it's kind of hard because some of the stuff I would say isn't as consistent as you know an, or like you know a brand that's been established like Chanel you know you can look back at their history and it's been like 20 30 40 50 years or whatever you know so just going off of what I looked at I was still kind of slightly confused <laughs> because I didn't want to just come up with some shit out of my ass so I researched other brands that I felt like um, would have I guess a similar target market or you know something that's already established that would have the same you know feel same style so I checked out other places and I pretty much spent like the whole time researching and checking out different layouts of catalogs and it's funny because like I didn't major in graphic design but I end up doing graphic design stuff so it's definitely makes me reconsider like not reconsider my degree but like make me want to think about going back to school for graphics but I don't know if that's gonna be <laughs> So, I don't know, I'm already in debt right now, so I don't think I should be going to school anymore, but I don't know, I think I might want to take maybe a couple more classes, I don't know, something, you know, a certificate, I don't know, something, but like, I feel like that was so important, but I mean, I, I'm glad that I'm, I learned on my own, but I still wish that I had, I guess, a degree in it. I don't know why. I guess it's, it would make me feel more comfortable, you know, so, yeah, I researched all day, and I saw, like, all these cool catalogs, and then I started thinking about all these cool ideas, and then I was like, man, I started changing everything, and I'm just like, wait, hold up, I can't change everything, you know, but then, like, I started thinking about what I really wanted to do, which is art direction, which is what I'm basically doing, you know, and, like, that's what my supervisor is doing but like you know working closely with him I could definitely like shape help shape this brand because it's so new it's so fresh so I could basically really like help brand it you know so I think that's what really 
made me feel like I could be a part of this company soon, you know, eventually, so I just was like, you know, I need to make sure this catalog layout looks dope as hell. Like, I'm going to probably give him two options, but, you know, I just want to make sure, like, I don't mess up, basically. So that's pretty much what went down. And then he was just like, I didn't think he was going to come in, so because he told me he wasn't going to be here. So he ends up coming in and he's like, okay, so just leave the stuff that you did today in the drop off. And I was like, wait, hold up. I got like part of it done, but it's like not to where I want it to be. And I was researching all day <laughs> and he just looked at me like, he basically didn't do anything this whole day and I'm just like man I did do stuff like I was researching you know so he was like all right well you have the weekend to do it so I have Saturday and Sunday to sit down and come up with something so I think I'm gonna do some major like major work tomorrow so that's my goal for tomorrow so yeah that was it and then Oh yeah, I was supposed to send a package off to somebody and they uh, wrote down the address to the place. So I was supposed to take it there and I got lost again because I didn't pay attention to the south and the north, I guess, whatever it said on there. So I ended up walking like freaking 10, 12, 15 blocks and like, I decided to wear these freaking shoes. Let me just. I'm not even here, but <laughs> these freaking boots that I have, call them the colonial boots. <laughs> and they have like a small, like, not even a, like, not even big, you know, the, my, the heels not even that long. Like, hi, and, like, it hurt my feet so bad. Like, I'm never wearing those shoes again. Man, my feet hurt so bad. Like, like, um, my feet just freaking hurt. And they probably look disgusting. So, like, I'm never going to have a bad touch my feet ever. Because, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't think people in New York have nice looking feet. Like, I'm serious. Like, you walk around, like, like, everywhere like I don't think your feet can look beautiful so for all those guys with foot fetishes I'm sorry you're just probably not gonna find it here so yeah and then got lost yeah and then I ended up going to this sushi restaurant because I was like starving I hadn't ate at all and then it was like a eleven dollar special I don't know why it was eleven it was originally ten but they add one more dollar so I don't know why but you pretty much got <clears throat> a soup or a salad, an appetizer, and then two rolls, and then sake or wine. So I was like, holy shit, this is awesome. But of course everything is in small portions, so I was just like, man, this kind of sucks. But the sushi was not really that good, but it was decent enough, and I mean, the sake was good. I just didn't want to drink it all because I didn't want to be drunk, and I didn't want to be walking around, like, trying to get a job drunk, you know? So after that much left and started to look for jobs again and it's pretty annoying sometimes because <clears throat> I don't know like I walked into Billabong and like the woman just like looked me up and down and was like oh you can go to the cash register and get like they're just she just had an attitude and I'm like dude like your store is slow as hell right now like why are you mad at me for trying to apply? Like, I mean, I guess I shouldn't even work here because it's slow as hell. I probably wouldn't get on with you know what I'm saying? But hey, I applied, you know. So I applied there t and Victoria's Secret because they're actually hiring, which is kind of cool. Um, there's some other places that are hiring, but I'm probably going to go later because they have like a certain day where they have an open house. So. I'm gonna go to those later, and then, yeah, that was pretty much it. I ended up sitting around, and then, like, I was at Starbucks pretty much surfing for jobs again, and places again, and this dude, these two dudes, like, were like, hey, can we pay you $5 to use your MacBook, because 
like we need to find we need to book a hotel and i was like okay cool so we started talking and they're from florida which is really cool and they found a hotel with my macbook and he paid me five dollars and i was like and he's like well thank god you have a macbook because i have a pc and i was like you are so right so right <laughs> so that's pretty much my day and i didn't get to go out i was trying to go out but like point is i don't have a lot of money to be spending i shouldn't be going out anyways and if i am going out it's gonna definitely be for free so yeah um anyways just yeah that's pretty much it so you guys have a good night and i'll see you tomorrow